Kansas City has really become a soccer loving town. We have an outstanding team dedicated to fans and a rich soccer history with big wins. Tony Miola was part of the team that brought home the MLS championship title to Casey back in 2000. Welcome back to Kansas City. Thank you. I, I told you guys in uh, June during mm -hmm. the All-Star weekend if Kansas City got back to the finals and it was here I would come back and here I am. And we are so glad you're back, and we're so glad that they're in the MLS Cup Championship game. Okay, so any early predictions? You know this game. You know it. Yeah. You've been there. Well, I will tell you this. The two best teams in Major League Soccer are playing Saturday, mm -hmm. which is always, doesn't always happen when you get to a championship. Uh, Real Salt Lake is an outstanding team. Uh, Sporting KC uh, got the job done during the playoffs where the last two years has been very, very difficult for them. Um, I think part of that is the fact that they've got this beautiful sporting park and these great fans here in Kansas City. Um, I think it's going to be close. Uh, but given the fact that the fans here uh, and the support that Sporting KC will have, uh, I think will be the overriding factor. And I think it'll be a low-scoring game. Uh, so I'm picking KC in a one nothing 2-1 type game. So now you've had some time from your uh, win in Kansas City back in 2000. Time? That was 13 yeah, years yeah, ago. A little I just, bit someone time. just reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like yesterday. <laughs> Lucky 13, though, right? So we get to do it again 13 years later. Do you, do you look back on that with fond memories and, and uh, have a different kind of perspective now that you have some time? There's no question about that. It was, you know, anytime you get to win a championship, mm -hmm. you, you never forget it. Um, the fact that we did it here and the fact now that we are part of the history mm -hmm. of this club, although that was the Wizards and this is Sporting KC, um, this group didn't forget what happened 13 years ago and what Lamar, Lamar Hunt built here uh, with soccer. And uh, it's great to see. I look at this team and um, I, I do a show as well. We had Matt Beasler on and he talked about that day when we played. Um, he got so nervous while he was watching the game, he actually went outside to play basketball because he was <laughs> nervous. So to think about those stories is pretty yeah. neat. Um, and, and to see what they're doing here and what Peter Vermes mm -hmm. has been able to do with this group uh, is pretty special. And to have been part of it in, in this great city, uh, you know, I love coming back here. How do you overcome the nerves when every play matters? It could mean, you know, the win or not. Yeah, well, that's what the finals is about, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and oftentimes, uh, finals and championships are d determined by who makes a mistake and who mm -hmm. capitalizes on that mistake. Listen, um, there's a reason these two teams are here. It's because they're good. There's a reason these players are in this game. Uh, athletes, the, the, the great ones, the ones that are defined as great, they forget about everything that's going on outside and they go out and play because mm -hmm. that's what we do best. That's what athletes do best. So, um, I, I, again, in, in a close game, in a game that I think will be tight, um, you know, oftentimes, as I mentioned, unfortunately, it might be determined by a mistake. You just don't want to be that guy, right? Right. No, definitely. Now, last time you were here to talk about um, Allstate, uh, you surprised a youth soccer team. That's very exciting. Now, what's going on this time? Yeah, so the, the fact that we're back here, I get to do it all over again. Good, in good. So tonight, uh, Allstate and I will be out uh, again. The team doesn't know what's going to happen, mm -hmm. but eventually what ends up happening is we do a clinic. Um, at the end of the clinic, we present them with full uniforms and bags mm -hmm. and everything they need to get through a season. And uh, it's so for me, it's the highlight of my trip. Of course, I'm excited about the game, mm -hmm. but when I go back and think about it, it's a game at the end of the day. At the end mm -hmm. of the day, these kids are kids that uh, wouldn't necessarily have the opportunity to get this stuff, mm -hmm. nor would they have the opportunity in most cases to go to the game, mm -hmm. which they're going to be able to do tomorrow. Oh, it's so exciting. And also, I mean, in terms of as fans, what can we do to be supportive tomorrow? Well, first, gloves, uh, all your <laughs> stay, undershirts, stay, stay warm. warm. It's going to be cold. Um, every time the, the, your, your uh, news guy comes on, your weather guy mm -hmm. comes on, it gets colder and colder somehow. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, it's what can you do? The same thing this group of fans has been doing all year and the last two years. And, um, you know, you got to believe. Got to believe. Now, fans can catch up with Tony on game day from 11 until 3 in the Nebraska Furniture Mart parking lot at the Allstate Fan Zone. And it's a free event, so take advantage of that awesome opportunity. Thank you so much, Tony, for stopping by. We Thank appreciate you. it.